Julia and Sam are planning their future together. Actually, Sam's doing all the planning. You'll figure it out. Yes. But those plans for the future have hit a great wall. It was something that I really didn't expect. This couple's caught in a clash of culture and compromise. Is it your wedding? I don't know. Once again, Jane will have to perform some death-defying feats to save this wedding. She's a trained professional. Do not try this at home. Oh. Oh! Julia and Sam's first meeting was more of a hostile takeover. Well, I booted her out of her office because they didn't have any spare office space. That was our initial meeting, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> but business turned into pleasure. I tried to get him to, you know, go out with people in our office, and he invited me to lunch, and from there... We just got closer and closer. It was all part of Sam's master plan. He has a plan for everything. Who's doing the announcement? We haven't figured that out yet. Julia's plan is to let Sam do the planning. Honestly, I've only had to worry about a couple of things, things like my dress, your hair, makeup, so personal things. So he's been great throughout this whole entire time. Yes, I have been. And he's modest. Well, we do have a reservation there that we booked 13 months in advance. What do you propose we do? With just a few weeks to their big day, they've lost their traditional Chinese banquet venue. They told us somebody's mandating them to renovate. We don't know if it's we true don't know. or not. It's gonna be hard. With the venue changed, the couple are forced into a Western wedding. Now they have to scramble if they want to bring back those cultural traditions. I was just surprised that it didn't work out. It was something that I really didn't expect. It's OK. It's OK. It's been a very emotional <laughs> couple of months. The timeline's getting shorter, and keeping family happy has gone to the top of the list. But you are not doing a lot of the traditional Chinese wedding thing. You guys are Chinese. What else do you want us to do? My mom said that there's actually a special tea for the tea ceremony. It's different than regular tea, so. I don't know what type of tea. <laughs> so there was like a different requirements or expectations from both sides of our family. You know, it seems like a lot of trouble if at the end of the day, you're still not having a Chinese wedding. A wedding is a very important day and I want the people I love to be around me. Enter Jane Days Hinch, our wedding planner slash fairy godmother, who will grant three wishes to help our couple out with their plan and to give Sam some support. Hello. Hello. Hi. I'm Julia. Hello, Julia. Sam. Sam. I'm Jane. What expectations you have of your wedding day? That's the problem, because I don't know what I want. I know I want it to be great, but I don't have that something that tells me what it is. OK. We had a certain expectation when we signed up with other venue. We're starting from scratch again, and, and yeah. I'm a detailed guy. So everything needs yes. Yeah, okay. so everything needs to go in whatever sequence. Sam has to explain to, the business plan. Everything Will it stress to... you out if it isn't? Yes. OK. And part of it is I want to, I'm trying to shield her from that. I want it to be perfect for her. Looks like Jane's found the ideal groom. What a bright guy. You know what? You lead, I follow, and everything will be fine. I'm going to go and get my big board, and let's work on it together. OK. okay. Sam's list is detailed. Maybe Jane's found her match. This is it. You've got a piano player? Yep. Rings? Yes. OK. Photographer? Yep. Check, check, and check. Oh, he's good. Cake? Of course. Of course. Tell me what's wrong with your wedding, because I know there's something. Morning. The tea ceremony concerns us a little bit. A vital part of a Chinese wedding is the tea ceremony. It's expected by everyone, done by everyone. Do you know all the intricacies of a tea ceremony? No, we don't. <laughs> Our parents expressed to us that they would like it done, but at the same time, they couldn't give us very specific instructions or what we need to do. So this is a really big deal, and if you get it wrong, you could have people going, this is... And you're embarrassed. Yes. I based a whole part of my life on what the expectations of my parents are, what the expectations of my family are. Entertainment. What would you like to happen? We haven't had a chance to really dig into it. Oh, OK. I see the customs and the traditions. But where is Julia? Where is Sam in this wedding? Talk me through your ceremony. Is it your wedding? Thank you. 
And the survey says? I can't say that I, well, I can't answer that question. I don't know. Oh, so close. I haven't put any thought into it. Um, I don't think it actually happens that people, the personality shows through in their weddings, at least not the ones that I've uh, attended. Um, I think it's just a thing that they do because they're supposed to. Vows, to me, are very important. I think it would be lovely to hear what you both want to promise each other for your future married life together. I really don't feel comfortable. OK. We're, we're private people, you know. This is, that's, that's <gasps> enough of a declaration standing up in front of everybody. <laughs> OK. I bring with me three wishes. Yes, you've got a lot done, but there is still a lot to do. Who's going to have the wishes? Well, have Sam hold on to that one. I thought, do you know, I just... <laughs> He's the organiser, the detail-oriented yeah. guy, so... Julia is so laid back, she's horizontal. And she's just letting Sam do everything. You're going to need to talk as to where you need the most tea help. Ceremony. The tea ceremony. Concerns us a little bit. The first wish is the tea ceremony. Yeah, I think, I think so. we need help on that for yeah, sure. Yeah, we just want to make sure that we do it right. You're not going to wish for me to speak Cantonese, <laughs> are you? Yeah, we're not. We're not that cruel. Cool. <laughs> thank you. Whatever that is in Cantonese, thank you. <laughs> it's great that Jane's helping us on that right now. That's right, and for the, some of the other halls, we have two more wishes. <gasps> they have lost a venue. But they've gained so much more. They gained a wedding planner. There are only five days left, and still a lot of details to take care of. So Sam's enlisted the help of his family. We'll have lunch there waiting for us. And it starts at 3.45, we'll end at 4.45. So processional, welcome, words of encouragement, exchange of rings, vows. Okay, so for the entertainment, ballpark, 9.30ish, maybe? I Sounds entertaining-ish. Maybe Sam's brothers can liven things up. Well, Steve and I did some research. Fasten your seatbelts. Oh, this is bad. One of the games is the two of you have to try and attempt to eat this cherry. We can do it. That's easy. Yeah. Blindfolded. You're gonna knock each other in the dark. <laughs> How is that fun? Well, the whole point is that it's hard to get to, and they end up kissing. Well, just Very tell good. us to kiss. <laughs> so this is another game with chocolate kisses. Ah. Julia stands. Yeah. Huh? And Julia starts placing them on your body. <laughs> and then the guests can guess how many you can do. How's that fun? Come on, you two, get into it. These are traditional Chinese wedding games. I don't think I would do it. What, are you afraid of having fun? Both of us don't want to be overly embarrassed. We want to more elegant and simple. Elegant and simple. Sounds like a task for Jane. Hello. Hi, Jane, and we're uh, having a discussion with our uh, wedding party here, and they've come up with a couple of uh, wedding games for us. There's some that we don't want to do. What we're asking for is to use one of our wishes. Wish number two. Um, let me see what I can do. Before she can entertain the notion of entertainment, Jane's taking a tea break. Thank you, Min, for coming to help me today. It's my pleasure. Because Julia and Sam lost their Chinese banquet, they've also lost a lot of the things that they wanted to do. We'll have the full Chinese traditional tea ceremony. We're not going to simplify anything, so we'll just make their family completely happy. Fantastic. Great. Let's go and do some shopping. Let's go. What happens at the beginning of the tea ceremony is that the group side of the family comes in with all the grand gifts, which is what we're purchasing today. They present these grand gifts to the bride side of the family, kind of like an offering. And then the bride and groom offers tea to their elders. In return, the elders, the parents, the grandparents, aunts and uncles, they give lucky money to the bride and groom in red envelopes. The amount of money in there should be a denomination of number nine. It's a very lucky number. So serve lots of tea. Yes, lots of tea. <laughs> <laughs> so this is lotus tea. And there are millions of tea leaves and seeds in here because it represents lots of children. Be careful how much tea you drink. <laughs> what else do we need? Like cake. Tea and cakes, it's almost English. <laughs> OK. And the other thing is the big pig, the roasted pig. The big pig? Yes. Sweet! That's a lot of information. It's time to bring the families together for a rehearsal and put the theory into practice. So everyone's here. Yeah. <laughs> At the beginning of the tea ceremony, the bride should always be in front of the male and the groom should be in front of the female. Okay. 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 That's easy. So since you need to be kneeling, you need some kind of cushions. Cool. Right. You, go, you so, go down first there? Yeah. All right. Julia, you'll go first. So if you can grab one teacup and you present it to your dad. Julia, you grab another one and then Excellent. you present to your mom. <laughs> 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 
But well, we've got to get it organised now, so you know everybody knows what they're saying yeah. on the day. So good. We got to get it organised now. There you go. Excellent. Okay. Okay. Yeah, sounds good. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> well, Dory, as long as you're with me, you're good. You know what you're doing. I'll follow along. Is this making it more real? I yeah. think so. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I think a rehearsal has been good. Yeah. To yes. rehearse it all so that we all know what we're doing. Absolutely. The rehearsal thing, I don't remember any of it. So, it's okay. It's okay. like, I don't know how much they remember. So, Jane's got the tea ceremony covered. Now for the entertainment. Sam and Julia called me and asked me for this wish for entertainment at their wedding. I thought it was elegant, so I came to see Jen. Jen! Because the couple are very structured in the way that they do their wedding, I'm looking for something very fun. What do you think would be best? You're the expert. Well, why don't we get you to try, and then you can see what appeals to you the most. OK. And then you're going to take off your left hand. I think I'm in trapeze skills 101. Okay, this is the static trapeze. Oh, yeah. No, I don't think I'll be doing that. <laughs> oh, Jen, where's the uh, safety net? <laughs> your hands, your body, you just hold on. You're gonna put your hands on, wrap your thumbs around, and then try to put your feet through the trapeze. You can do a pretty pose if you want. I'll tell you what, I'll want a round of applause if I do that. You can come up to standing, put your feet on top of the red part of the cables. No, I'm not. No, I'm not, OK? Yes, you are. No. The, the leg is not going to go. Oh, there it went. Foot. Right. Perfect. Really tighten your hands and push down. Oh, wobbly. Everything hurts. Circus is painful. It hurts. No pain, no entertain. On the silks, we do pretty things like splits. Yeah. And then more dramatic things like falls. Oh, that's very dramatic. To bring entertainment to Sam and Julia's wedding, it's got to be spectacular. And this is going to be it. But the real fun and games are with Julia's family. Talk about shenanigans. <laughs> This whole wedding thing has been very emotional because I live with my parents. This is like a permanent move. Like the room's gonna be empty from now on. All my stuff is gonna be gone, so. I don't know, I think uh, I miss them and they'll miss me for sure too. With only two days left, Jane puts the plan into action. I wanted to be at Sam and Julia's rehearsal to see if it was as perfectly planned as Sam had arranged it to be. Oh, the bridal party walking in first. We didn't really think about that. The There's a list on the schedule. No, we, yeah, we didn't. We didn't. We didn't know what was. What we're supposed to do. Like, is it just straight to the table? What music are you setting it to? This is a little bit heavier, like a little bit more marching type. Marching. Uh, drums. Marching. A, a, little, a little bit. No, it's very. They want fun. Ours is very light. That's that's ours. Ours is very very light. And, uh, and uh, boring. OK. I think he's more into the details now, now that he knows about it. And I'm just going along with whatever needs to happen. For a change. If they walk in first, they could be standing behind their chairs. Uh, they have to know where they're going uh, to. It's great on paper, but it doesn't help if you don't know what you're doing on the day. OK. So you come to here, uh -huh. walk in, and you hand the bouquet. Okay. So that's. I hope you remember this. I'm not remember anything. I still don't know what's going on, really, because I'm not going to remember. There's too many things to remember. <laughs> I can't. I'm confused. But now, this is going to be interesting. They need to stamp their personality on this wedding. It's your wedding. I'm taking over your last wish. OK. And this is it. And all the clues are inside. Okay. And I'll be expecting you at the finish line. This is one big surprise. He's a very organized type of person. I don't think he likes surprises very much. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to not okay. sleep over this tonight. No, I'm going to be OK. This is a bit of scheduled fun. OK, perfect. Their road to Funville starts here. 
Okay. Welcome to the urban race of love. Use these clues to retrace the story of your love and find your way to the next challenge. Down on bended knee, he asked with a symbol of love never ending, find your next challenge where your love was sealed. It's gotta be the park. The park where we got engaged? Yeah. Write down three things you admire about your fiance. Here you go. Okay, so what are we doing? <laughs> Didn't you just read it? I'm done. So I'm so great, you had so many things to write. Clue number two. They say love is nourishment for the soul. Find your next challenge where your love was first nourished. This Deal. is probably the restaurant where we went to. Mm, the first time? According to you, that was our first date, so I guess so. Okay. So we were right. You mean you were right. Write down three things you appreciate about each other, but I've never said aloud. Well, I think we talk about too much stuff to have anything that we've never said. I don't think I have anything to write this time. Maybe he should write this for you. That can't be it. Might be brief, but I'm succinct. So you're writing a novel? How many things are you, how many things are you only I'm a writer. Me? That's why I did so well in English literature. <laughs> Find your next challenge where you first spent time together. Okay. I know. I'll take it there. I'll go where you go. There's the box, there's the box. Write down three things you wish for your future together. Okay, all right. Ready? I'm on number two, leave me alone. <laughs> 18 kids. That's not gonna even happen. <laughs> so there's no point in writing that. Third clue. Find the finish line where you will build your future together. That's easy, it's our Back house. Back of the right? the condo. Okay, yeah. let's go. Did you enjoy your urban race of love? Yeah, we did, absolutely. But how did it feel to write down all those questions that I asked you? I, I mean, I know all the things I, I, I love about Julia, but it's just to put it down on paper and then to kind of read and say, oh yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little bit more substantial, I guess, than up here in my head. I'm going to hopefully, with this wish, make them understand what vows and marriage are all about. Sam and Julia's wedding plans fell apart with the loss of their venue. I'm assuming everything will fall in place because you'll figure it out. To make everybody happy, they needed Jane's help. For the first wish... Tea and cakes, it's almost English. <laughs> ...make their families happy with a traditional tea ceremony. And we just want to make sure that we do it right. For the second wish, make the guests happy. Bring on the entertainment. How's that fun? But will Sam and Julia be happy? Where is Julia? Where is Sam in this wedding? Hopefully, wish number three, Jane's secret wish, will do the trick and make this day special for our couple. The wedding day is here. The tea ceremony is about to begin, but already there's some unscheduled controversy. I don't want to offend Julia's grandmother. Now, if you, I'm not going to have this discussion. I've already explained it to Jennifer, I under, and she understands. From what I can gather, they would like to bring out the sister, but the sister is pregnant. That is too much happiness to bestow upon the couple. So they don't want her to come out. But if she doesn't come out, that's symbolized as she doesn't, she's died. She's, she's staying seated. Sam's put out another family fire. He's made the call, the pregnant sister stays. Bring on the tea. To keep customs and traditions in weddings? Yeah. That one was very memorable, very beautiful, and very meaningful. I mean, something to us, definitely, but probably meant a lot more to our parents and very much so. Yeah. so, according to Sam's schedule, off we go again. While guests arrive, Jane delivers her special surprise. I sent you on that urban race, yeah. and this is what Julia wants you to read before the ceremony so that she knows you know what's in her heart. Do you remember me saying that 
I wanted you to write some vows and say some vows to each other. Yes. You inspire me to do more, to change more, to risk more, to realise all my potential because you have given me the love and support to take on more challenges. I am a better person because you are my side. Together we're going to make our dreams come true and we will travel the world and we're going to take on all the adventures that love will bring to us. Those are the vows that he wanted to say to you. That's what you both really wanted to say to each other. Shake it with that just before to go out there. <laughs> Thank you. I, Julia, as your best friend, I will support you with the best of my abilities. I, Sam, as your best friend, I will do my best to consider you and your needs more important than mine. Appreciating your uniqueness, I commit my love to you. I commit my love to you to be faithful to the end, that we may become one in affection, one in mind, one in spirit. I now pronounce you to be husband and wife. Welcome and receive our new married couple, Mr. Sam and Mrs. Julia Liu. Ladies and gentlemen, the wedding cake is well and truly cut. Looks like they're having fun at their own wedding. Wait till the entertainment starts. When they asked me for their entertainment wish, I really had to search as to what I could do that would be so fitting for this wedding. Please welcome Jen Georgopoulos from Zero Gravity Circus. The entertainment was magnificent. Awesome. Right. I really did not expect something that extravagant. With some scheduling and everything else that we've had to pull together, they did get the wedding of their dreams. And I'm so happy that I was a part of it. It's a magical evening. It's beyond my wildest dreams of what it would be. Also helped to have Jane on our side. We knew that she wouldn't let anything go wrong, and uh, she didn't. It's fun. It's fun. The whole night was great. Nadia and Dara consider themselves the it couple. Everybody's expecting a great show. She's a princess who gets what she wants. Me, bride, you, groom. Okay, I get to have my way and he's a guy who's not getting any these days. I haven't gotten late in a year. OMG! Can Jane satisfy them both? Does it feel as though there's trouble in paradise? Or is this it couple about to hit the fan? Ready to introduce my gloves to your face? Derek, it was lust at first sight. The attraction. Yeah, what was the attraction, Derek? As long as her family doesn't know, looks to start off with. Well, actually, yeah, Derek yeah. was pretty hot, I'm not gonna lie. The first time we went out for ice cream, I knew that I needed to have him in my life. I guess opposites attract. She's so carefree. There's a few different Derek's in my life, okay? Maybe this is what keeps me interested. We're kind of the it couple, I guess. We are the a couple. We love to have a good time, and when we get there, that's when it, the party gets cranked up a couple notches. Yeah, and so I just feel like people have all these expectations of me to have this fabulous wedding. Everybody's expecting a great show. We talk to talk, and we gotta walk the walk. Yeah. But the walk hasn't always been a smooth one. What have you got going on over here? Well, I'm just experimenting with the centerpieces. They're actually a lot harder than they looked at first. The uh, coffee beans float. Who would have thought? I don't think I like that. That's, well, I'm sorry uh, you don't like it, but that's what we're doing. I've been doing everything, so I don't if think... If I didn't have to work 12 hours a day, when I get home, uh, I definitely try to get my fill-in on the wedding plans and everything to do with the wedding. What do you think I do all day, everything? I have absolutely no idea. That's why I'm asking you. The wedding planning has definitely brought out a not-so-positive part of Derek. I'm not going to lie. It's tough to deal with sometimes. I can't have that. Fine, There's we no won't way. have centerpieces then. I'm doing 90% of the wedding planning on my own, which is making me 
fear a panic attack at some point. If Just you don't like it, this is what that. I came up with, no, then you no, come up with something else. And by the way, I haven't gotten laid in a year. OMG. She thought it'd be something to, to do to try to I connect emotionally. Oh, really? We decided to focus on more impor important parts of our <laughs> relationship throughout the engagement and save the fun for the wedding night. Which is a big part of the stressor. Enter Jane Day as Hinge. Our wedding planner slash fairy godmother will grant three wishes to help take the stress out of wedding plans and help this couple make it to the wedding night. Hello, Derek. I'm Nadia. Pleasure Nadia. to meet you. I got your wedding SOS. What is keeping you awake at night? The constant worrying about what I haven't done yet. Like? I haven't ordered my flowers yet. Any flowers? Same. What is the split between you? Is it 50-50, 60-40? 80-20. She's doing 80, I'm kind of doing 20. As if. I'm doing more than 80. The job I've started is new, and I'm there for 10 to 12 hours a day. Do you know what I don't want? Two days later, you're blaming her because you went, I left you to do that. You know what? That I probably wouldn't. You better not. Derek was in charge of, like, literally two things. Food. Booze. Have you had your food tasting? I was just gonna say. No. Okay. I'm providing my own bar. I You're doing would, the bar? Yes, I have to provide my own liquor license. And how many people? Roughly Ooh. 200. What you're going to realize is I'm, I am doing most of it by myself, but the things that I delegate, I don't know, I don't care. You said you're taking care of it, so Which do it. it. You've had a year to do it. Make it happen. Yeah, well. You've had a year. What I can see is great relationship leading up to wedding. Now we're like. I need to go and write. And yeah. get you started on this plan. Yes, I agree please. wholeheartedly. Wait until you hear the plan, Nadia, because everything in red is on your urgent to-do list. Not a big fan of that red marker. I might just write another one. <laughs> no, <laughs> to do Itinerary. I'm so glad we've got 10 days to do this, because if you were calling me the week of your wedding, you physically couldn't do all of this. <sighs> Jane gave us a huge reality check. You've got to pay the hall for every person that's sitting at the table. Mm -hmm. Where's the DJ? Where's the cake? Where's your podium? Because if you don't get it done that day, it's on the next day and on the next day till in the end you've run out of days. Yeah. I knew that you were gonna tell me I had more to do than I thought I had to do, but I had no idea it was gonna look like this. If you add in all the different factors that they're trying to juggle at the moment, it's like a volcano. It's bubbling and soon something's gotta give. I'm nearly there. Look, honeymoon. It's not on the budget. We wanted to go to Thailand. That's always been our plan. I get really emotional when I talk about our honeymoon because a few months ago I lost my job, which meant taking out the honeymoon. And it's something that Derek really, really wanted. I don't think it's just the honeymoon. I think it's everything else. But I can help because I can grant you three wishes. OK. Do you want one? Yes, I No. You want one. They all belong to me. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye tears, hello again, princess. But don't you feel better that you've got a plan? I'll be doing 90% <laughs> of the sport. Yeah, I do feel like Jane and myself are on the same team. Uh, we're very organized, very planned. Seeing the board and having it shown to Nadia is actually a, a good stress relief. I'm glad to take the weight of the world off your shoulders. At least now I know what we've got to do. One thing Nadia wants to do is deal with the honeymoon. She decides to make a secret call to Jane for help. Nadia! Hey, Jane! Thanks for coming to get me. I have a huge favor to ask of you. Yeah? And it's regarding our honeymoon, or lack thereof. It would make me so happy to somehow pull off a honeymoon. How could I not help? The next day, Derek's drinking buddies give him an ice-cold wake-up call. Give it a little toast, because this is uh, nothing compared to uh, what we're going to be drinking on uh, Saturday, I think that's for sure. We're going to have a lot of booze at that bar. I'm bringing my A-game. We're going all night, going strong. OK, we get it. You guys like to cocktail. She's going to be gone, all gone, <laughs> within the first hour. Stocking the bar on my wedding is, is definitely a bigger undertaking than I thought it was. It's trying to figure out the ratio, how many drinks per person. I really don't know. I have no idea. Hello. Hey, it's, uh, it's Derek. Hi, Derek. Jane, I, I dropped the ball on this bar thing. Can't run out of booze, Jane. I cannot run out of booze. We, we have some heavy drinkers on both sides. I definitely need help with the bar. And that's your wish. Can you make it happen? OK. Thanks, Jane. Thanks a lot. He wants me to order, deliver, and stock his bar for the wedding. It's huge! With a big bar part of the plan for their big day, Jane has set up a meeting with a mixologist. 
The reason I've come to see you is because I've got a couple yeah. who have asked me for a wish, and it's a huge wish. Okay. They want me not only to stock the bar, but right. get it delivered, get it chilled, literally do the bar. That is a tall order. He's here all week. Try the veal. I need to sit and work out all the formulas of what to stock, how much to stock. You look like you could use a drink while we think this over. Thought you'd never ask. <laughs> Brilliant. But I've got a little something different that I'm going to try with you today, and I actually call it the fairy godmother. Ooh. This has given me an idea. While Jane continues to drink her creative juice, back at the couple's house after a long day of wedding planning, hey. Nadia gets the third degree from Derek. What'd you do today? Uh, wedding stuff? What do I always do like? all day? What'd we do? Do you want a checklist or something? Like, what do you want from me? I've been doing this all day. I call it the cop persona, because frankly, it's a little bit scary. I'd like a detailed account of uh, what you did today, and that includes the five W's, who, what, where, when, why. If I had an itinerary so, of what you did, you know what? then I'd know, Why don't you not don't micromanage me? I don't want to no. talk about the wedding. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to think about it. Just chill out. Pestering the bride, check. Pestering the wedding planner, here we go. Hello. Hello, Derek. Your bar will be fine. Trust me. We believe you, Jane, but Derek apparently needs a little more proof. Nadia. Nice Thank to meet you, me. Nadia. Derek. Nice Derek, how are you? Now, I called upon Gavin Services because I don't think you realized when you asked for this wish how big it was going to be. You didn't really trust me with this wish, did you? <laughs> to be honest, no. Yeah, no, I didn't. He doesn't I, trust I still anyone. have a lot of questions. Maybe I yeah. can answer some of those questions. What's, uh, what's on your mind? Do we have the right amount for the right amount of people? You absolutely will. At 11 o'clock, I'm not going to have a cousin of mine coming up to me saying, how come there's no more rum? How come there's not another beer and vodka? Sounds like they should be asking about the 12 steps. I promise you, your guests are going to be well taken care of. They will be well lubricated. I'm trusting you. He asked his questions. You give me a wish, Derek, I deliver. Well, I came up with the wonderful idea that because Gavin created me a wonderful signature drink called the Fairy Godmother, Ooh. would you like a special drink for your wedding? Yeah. So we're going to start out with a little bit of vodka, a little bit of X-rated fusion, fresh lime juice in there. That looks cute. Whoa. Nice touch. Oh, it's fantabulous. Yeah? Oh, yeah. I am all about the signature drink. Who else has a signature drink? No one. Oh, I want mine to be called the princess. Yeah? Yes, indeed. Princess drink? No one saw that coming. What are we going to call his? Grimzilla drink. Really? Grimzilla. Perfect! <laughs> well, what a fabulous way to spend an afternoon. But I think we ought to actually go and get something to eat. Come on, we'll get a cab. One thing about drinks, makes me hungry. Hmm, I'm guessing Jane didn't pick this place. Yeah, I always uh... feel like eating the greasy food only after I've been drinking. Oh. Stop eating my food. Get me up to date now with where you're at with your wedding. Derek insists that we're going to have this midnight buffet. Who does a midnight buffet? Have you not ordered that then? That's still on the back burner. I haven't actually been doing a lot of my part. By not a lot, Derek means like 2% of the wedding, if even. You're seriously going to ask for another wish? Yes. You get another wish? Because you don't work. No more falling out. I'd like this. Can we cut Derek some more slack and help us out with a midnight buffet? Something that stands out. You have to okay. say the it couple. This wish is a bit of a tall order. It's got to be dramatic because they're such an it couple. It's more than their reputation that's at stake. The next day, Jane meets with her caterer. She has to find the balance between greasy spoon and classy presentation. So, Jane, you know our executive chef, Zibby. Hi, Zibby. How are you? Very well. We've prepared some great late night buffet options for you to try today. Gourmet open-faced canapes, puff pastries, shrimp and scallop skewers. The wonderful food tasting that Zibby put together for me is very traditional and would suit every other bride, but they just won't cut it with this couple. I really want to push the boundaries with this couple. All the guests will walk away going, wow, that was something different. Of course, I prepared something uh, special for you. To create this wow factor that Nadia and Derek are looking for certainly proves a challenge for a wedding planner. Looking to set trends when it comes to flowers, our it girl is still feeling the pressure, alone. To say that I'm running out of time would be a huge understatement. Hey, babe, how's it going? 
uh, just looking at some flowers. I was wondering how you like the idea of um, fuchsia and lime green. Did you just say that you're too busy to talk about flowers for our wedding? Right now with my job, it is a priority. I really don't have the time right now. Unfortunately, those stores don't open at six o'clock in the morning when I would have the time. Are you kidding me? <sighs> Fine, you know what? Fine, I'll, I will just pick whatever. Okay, bye. Lately, the best way to describe Derek is like having a dry warm sock on one foot and just a wet, damp sock on the other foot. Derek being the damp sock. The next day, the wedding party this meet at the church over. for the rehearsal. And then, and then I'm here, Derek lifts it up. But for the you bride and groom, it's back to something they've been rehearsing for a while. All right, listen, I don't want none of the altar pictures. I want none. those pictures. No, I don't. Why? We just want everybody moved out outside. The quicker, the better. Me, bride, you, groom. Yeah, just everybody I out get, quicker. I we get don't, to have my wedding. Go back. Forget. And that's how it'll all happen. Okay. What's the matter? The look on her face. I knew something was wrong. I don't want to be fighting on our wedding day. Is there any way you can help us? Of course I'll help you. Can't I be fighting on your wedding day, oh. for goodness sakes? Somebody tell me how I pull this couple together so that when they meet at the altar, they look into each other's eyes and remember why they're getting married. This wedding is giving Jane a bit of a beating. She's taken some time for stress relief. That's it, speed power, speed left, power right. Good, good, Jane, that's it. You did great, Jane, how do you feel? I feel better now. Well, this is why I come and do this, Jason, it's to get rid of all my stress. Work never stops. Look at this. What does that say? 911. LQ, love quarrel. Why is this happening to me? I shouldn't feel this way. They're, they're, they're fighting again. This, okay. is, this is what they're fighting all the time. I'll tell you what, we should bring them in here. Absolutely, bring them in. Sometimes, fairy godmothers have to play Cupid. And what better place to play Cupid than in a boxing ring? Reach. I don't want to be at your bachelor party. I'm not down. I didn't say you wanted to be at the bachelor party. I don't want to come to your party. Guys, any... guys, will you please stop arguing? Derek started it. It's not I my don't fault. care who started it. I'm going to finish it. But that's why I brought you here, so that you can sort out all of this and duke it out. Yeah. I'd like to introduce you to my trainer. This guy really knows how to work you out. This is Jason Batiste, and he is the champion. Kickboxer. Bring it! Come on, touch gloves and come on fighting. Ready? Come out fighting. That shouldn't be a problem. Oh! It's called kickboxing, Nadia. <laughs> she needs it. it. Oh. <laughs> Is this wrestling or boxing? Ready to introduce my gloves to your face? It's a boxing. Oh. 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 You've got to clear the slate. You've got to get it out there. Fight it out, and then you can rebuild for the wedding. It was fun. I got to hit her without uh, being reprimanded for it afterwards. After the anger was out, though, it just turned into fun and good times. Let me watch hockey. Never! Never! Watch... I won't go down without a fight. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> good one, baby. Good one. That's stage one. So hopefully now you're all de-stressed. Yeah. So you can go on to your second stage of your love reconnection. Ooh. Looking forward to it. Yes, rekindle your love just like all pro boxers do, with a sensual massage. Hello, guys. Hi guys. Can we live in this moment forever? Did you mentally store it for when we're 80? All the stress is out completely. Hello there. That looks delicious. And there's also a note here from Jane. It's now time for your third and final stage of your love reconnection. It says that we have to bring intimate apparel. Ow! So I have to bring my pink rhinestone underwear? Ew! The third phase of Jane's love connection plan is about to start clicking. Hi, Jane. Hi, this is Nadia. Hi, Hi nice, nice to meet you. you. And this Hi. is Derek. Nice, nice to, meet to meet you. Here. I've brought them here so that you can go and work your magic with them. And Great. I'm going to leave you to it. This is your personal time. Mm -hmm. Go with Kathy. I'll in. see you later. Yes. Enjoy. You're all dying to know what she does, right? Derek, look up at me. Beautiful. 
Just remember what it was like when you first met. Just Beautiful. And a big kiss. Perfect. A little raunchy. We got to kiss a little bit. Yeah, yeah she got me hot. It's been the first time we've had fun together in so long. I think we're ready to walk down that aisle happy and not mad at each other. Now, they'll be fighting each other off. Making sure Derek and Nadia are still waiting for their wedding night, Jane makes a surprise visit to their house. Hey, Jane. Come Hi, Nadia. Nadia. Derek, are you wondering why I'm here? Yes. Do you want to give it to him and tell him what you've done? We are going to Thailand. Get out of here. You're kidding. I earned my bonus last year at work, which I never told Derek about, because I thought um, it could be money that I would buy his wedding gift with. When Nadia asked me to help her with this wonderful dream that she's got of going to Thailand, how could I refuse? So Jane pulled some strings and helped Nadia book a trip within her schedule and her budget. Really? 10 days, you're going out to Thailand and all the places that you wanted to visit. Get out of town. Really? Derek was speechless. I think that made everyone else speechless. Yeah. If I'm speechless, I'm really, really happy. <laughs> it's going to be the most fabulous wedding. But afterwards, go and have a fabulous honeymoon. <laughs> You're Thank the you bestest much. fairy godmother ever. Derek and Nadia are feeling the pressure to put on the perfect wedding. People have all these expectations of me to have this fabulous wedding. And the real stress relief won't come until the wedding night. I haven't gotten laid in a year. OMG! Jane showed up to release some tension. Does it feel as though there's trouble in paradise? For which one she opened up the bar. Oh, I want mine to be called the princess. Yeah? Yes, indeed. Princess drink? For which two she was asked to put the shine on a greasy spoon midnight buffet. You have to stay the it couple. You have to come up with something new. And for wish three, Jane was able to rekindle this couple's love flame. I think we're ready to walk down that aisle happy and not mad at each other. With the wedding day finally here and the sizzle back in their relationship, there's just one little problem. No bride. So I don't know, Nadia's not here. I have no idea what's going on. I think there's the guests. So I don't think this is the bride. Nadia will get here when she gets here. She always does. It's no horse and carriage, but our princess is inside. I could just see the chew. <laughs> OK, you ready? Let the show begin. Nadia, will you have Derek to be your husband? I do. I, Nadia, Derek. <laughs> I do take you, How Nadia, you? Yes. to be my wedded wife. I give you this ring that you may wear it as a symbol of our marriage. And now, the moment you have been waiting for, the marriage vows may be sealed with a kiss. When I first met Nadia and Derek, they were fighting like cats and dogs. Now look at them, lovebirds. To say she's my wife is one I'm of the your greatest wife. ever. You're my husband. Yeah. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> Jane is off to the reception hall to take care of the last two wishes, including uncorking the massive bar. Do you know how many bottles of wine I've opened today? We've got more than enough. Oh, do I need one of those? Princess Pink, have you been a princess all day? Yes. <laughs> Congratulations. Cheers. Let's go party. The open bar is officially open. Since uh, Jane came through on my bar wish, I was able to enter my wedding day stress-free. We are well stocked, baby. Yes. Is this wish delivered? Wish After hours of drinking and more drinking, it's time for Jane to reveal this it couple's hangover solution. Anybody been drinking? Anybody want to eat? Oh, oh yes. This is your late night buffet. Oh my god. Get eating. Our guests
best response to the food was that it's unique. They love surprise. it. One of the best parties ever. And buffet. <laughs> I think we set a new trend. I think so. Is this your wish granted? Wish definitely granted. Wish above and beyond granted. If Jane didn't come through for us, we'd probably be sitting at the head table with angry faces on. If there's such a thing as higher than a neck couple, we are definitely it tonight with Jane's help. Thanks, Thank you, Jane. Jane. Behind every it couple is a fabulous fairy godmother. Derek is a hot number, and it's been hard to hold off for a year, but you were certainly worth the wait, honey. Now deliver tonight. Donna and Rob are cooking up a future together. Donna's got the recipe, but does Rob have the right ingredients? <laughs> Donna knows that when the heat is on, Rob should stay out of the kitchen. You're not going to be in that kitchen. Can Jane serve up a blue plate special? Looking good. Or is this wedding a recipe for disaster? Patience is a virtue. That was a bunch of horse Rob were set up on a blind date that almost never happened. It was months before he called me. Actually, he contacted me. I still didn't contact Oh, yeah. Her. I emailed you She first. ended up emailing me. That's so like me, though, not to call. I'll just put everything off. Is it procrastination or foreshadowing? This was a sign of things to come. I wasn't overly anxious to get married. I'd been married before. Things were going good. Why? You know, why change? Rob did eventually get around to proposing, sort of. I had to coax him to actually ask the question. <laughs> that was a little disappointing. You're still here, so. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> they did have one special thing in common. I have a son, James, and he's 12. I have a daughter, Allie, and she's 10. Rob, I need help. Help with what? Look at all this stuff. <laughs> Rob is such a guy's guy where, you know, he scratches his crotch and burps and belches and farts. Fire that one through. But it's who he is, and I love him for who he is. I don't really care what anybody else thinks. Rob has a vision of wearing a white shirt, khaki shorts and sandals. I'll be surprised if he actually wears a tux to the wedding. This is Donna's special day, so why is she doing it all by herself? Wedding planning has been all me. He has done nothing. He does not share in the idea of the fairy tale. Since Rob's an executive chef, wouldn't it be great if he worked at his own wedding? On the day of the wedding, you're, you're not going to be in that kitchen. I'm sorry, honey. We'll see. I've got something else I got to do, so I'm going to head out. I got to. I need help. It's not as fun as I thought it was going to be. It just seems like it's a chore. Now I don't even want to do it. Enter Jane Deus Hinch. Our wedding planner slash fairy godmother will grant three wishes to add some spice and taste to this couple's menu. Hello. Nice to meet you, Jane. Hello, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Why are we meeting on the bridge? This is where we're getting married. You're getting married on a bridge? Yes. It's a lot of work if you want to make that look pretty. What are you going to do if it's raining? We're going to get wet because I'm bound and determined that we're having our ceremony on this bridge. Well, that could be definitely a wedding SOS. What else? <laughs> Rob's an executive chef. And we have nothing set up for food. The food for 80 people is not a big deal. I can pull that together in a couple of days. Why would you leave it so late? Uh, that's just the way that I do things. With everything that you've told me what I need to do is go and write a plan. And it feels like rain, so I think we're going to go and do this indoors. OK. This is where everyone comes in? Yes. yes. Okay. This is where you'll be having your reception. This is yes. the reception hall, yes. I think now I need to add this onto the plan as well. This is where Jane goes from wedding planner to fairy godmother. This is your plan for your day. Anything in red is urgent. The weather plan concerns me. Would your guests enjoy sitting for 15 to 20 minutes in the rain? Maybe the guests need a shower? Programs in the itinerary, guest book, a photo list. So who's going to do that? That's on your list to do. How much has she got to do here? You cannot do this on your own. No. Donna is absolutely swamped with all of this. She's asked for my help. I'm here to give her help. It's help with Rob she needs. Rob's list. The wedding's on the Saturday. When would you have to order all the food? Probably a week out. We're now talking this Thursday. Right. In 25 years of wedding planning, I don't think I've ever been to a wedding where there isn't any food. 
takeout. Order up. The hors d'oeuvres, which have all been beautifully prepared by... A chef. A chef. Not this chef. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Rob knows kitchens, I bet he does, inside and out. I know wedding disasters, inside and out. To see a bridegroom disappear and leave a bride on her own on a wedding day, she remembers that, and that isn't how you picture on your wedding day. So to go off chefing would not be in the plan. She's not an expert in the kitchen, though. No, but she's a wedding, uh, right. a wedding expert. Right, so. <laughs> so let's see you prove her wrong, then. See, now you're giving me the go-ahead to do it myself. No. What did I miss, guys? Holy cow. With everything that I've told you, I am a fairy godmother, and I do grant wishes. And you've got three, but I'm going to give you two. Thank you. But I think somewhere along the line, <laughs> you're going to need one. Decide where you need the most help, and then I'll be there for you. I am so glad we called you. This has got every trademark of Wedding SOS from start to finish. We'll all come together. Oh, <laughs> With the time crunch on, Donna's overwhelmed by details. This is a good time to call her bridesmaids. Jill, what are you doing today? Michelle? I'm just looking at the list of all the stuff that I have to do, and Rob is being no help whatsoever. You got the kids? No worries. She's got her fairy godmother on speed dial. Jane. I'm calling in a wish. OK. No one is available to help me until the day of the wedding. So my wish is if you could please stand in as my maid of honor until the wedding day. Does that mean I'm going to take orders from the bride? Oh. Hey, Rob. Hi, hello. How are you? I'm good. I just have to know 100% that you're going to have all the equipment, right. all the food ordered, and you haven't missed a thing. Who's doing the cooking? That, I have a friend that, I'm support that, I, that I think will do it. So have you contacted this guy? Not yet, no, but I'm sure he'll do it. He works with me at work, so. And if it doesn't work out, what's your plan B? Well, the plan B is me. But we're not doing that. You're still making me nervous. It'll all come together. I'll get it all done, though. No worries. Uh, oh. OK. Jane's worried, but right now, Donna needs her help. Jane Dares Hinch reporting for duty. Maid of honor at your service. How can I help? Well, these are all my DIY projects. Mm. Some of them not started at all. W what are these for? Those are for the cupcakes. I would like to have had a cake, but due to time constraints and budget, it wasn't in the, in the cards for us. When are you baking cupcakes? The night before. There's tons to do. Mm -hmm. She's the sort of girl that gets on and does everything herself, but underneath it all would love some help. That's good. Yep. Thank you. Jane takes a hands-on approach, but now it's time for her and Donna to do some legwork. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm doing my maid of honor duties <laughs> here, picking flowers. <gasps> and peonies. I want those, but I don't quite think they're in my budget. I think we're going to have to go over to the nursery side to get what I can afford. Really? Unfortunately. That's a shame. Does that look like a pretty bouquet? It's a very small bouquet. And this is what we've got to work with. It's not really what I want, but this is all that we can afford. So we're going to have to make the best of it. OK, let's get uh, choosing. After a day of arranging flowers, Jane decides that the best way to help Donna is to get a new recruit. Cheers, brother. Cheers. <laughs> uh. Yeah, no, it'll all come together. Can we get a couple more, please? Uh, we're working hard, are we? I wanted to have a chat with Rob, because I don't think he really understands where Donna is coming from. I just had to change his perspective slightly. She seems to have lowered her expectations right the way down so that she's not disappointed. It's possible. I can't say that I've noticed that, but... It isn't the knight in shining armor at the end of the aisle. It's the guy in shorts and flip-flops. It isn't the five-tier cake, it's five cupcakes. And she's doing it all on her own. This is what I felt like when I was talking to her. It felt like, Donna, it's your birthday. Now, go and bake your cake, go and buy your own present, decorate the place up yourself, da 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 and you walk in and go, happy birthday, Donna. Don't necessarily think that I've seen it that way, but... I can't think why Rob thinks that Donna should be doing everything, and he just show up on the day. That, that doesn't work. Can we, between us, 
ramp this wedding up to make it the wedding of Donna's dreams. What can we do? What can we do? <laughs> I'm a fairy godmother. Right. Can I make it a wish that you make it to her expectations? That'd be a great wish. Donna wants to be this fairy tale princess. She's got a fairy godmother. There's just something missing here, isn't there? The prince. The starting point is looking the part. Right. OK. I'll drink to that. Cheers. See what else I can dream up. It kind of caught me off guard. She kind of pulled on my heartstrings a little bit, and, and I started thinking about it after. I'm, I'm almost 100% sure she didn't talk to Donna about anything. That was a bunch of horse Uh-oh. Jane has some serious work to do to turn this groom into a prince. I just want to get a feeling of what you're thinking for your wedding day. Something like this would be nice and comfortable, similar to what I'm wearing today. Couldn't a suit be comfortable? I'm not really a suit kind of guy. Which shoes would we be wearing? I kind of like these sandals that I have on now. Right. Look, look, look. Way too flashy. So you're not even going to wear a tie on your wedding day? I'm not really a tie kind of guy. Pink. I can see where you're going, but I'm not sure that I like it. We can find one you like, a pink shirt. It's even worse. Look, look, very, very smart. It's not where I was hoping on going. Just go try it on. Patience is a virtue. Is this what men have to go through? Looking sharp, but this is looking more prince-like, isn't it? Feels kind of stuffy. Don't you think you look fabulous? I don't think it's me. This is exactly what Donna is picturing. She's picturing you at the end of the aisle in a tuxedo, the man of her dreams. I like the sandals. Wait till I've finished with you. There are still more steps to training this prince, so Jane's going to mix things up. Well, now that we've got you in your tuxedo, we've got you looking the part, and now we're going to get you to act the part. Donna wanted cupcakes. Right. But really, she wants a wedding cake. So why don't you do the wedding cake? I don't normally bake. You could rustle up a cake. You can give it a shot. I'll help you do it. OK. I didn't think people did wedding cakes with cake mix. But I don't do wedding cakes, so. It says flour lightly. No, that's OK. We don't need the flour. We don't? No, it, should, it won't stick. You got to, no, no, no. You got to put half in one and half in the other. Look. Well, that's why I never read the instructions. Yeah, pour butter into Two pans. pans. Did you put oil in there? No, we didn't actually, so we got to mix it again. As I said, I don't generally bake. I know basically what a half a cup is. I can eye it. We don't even. <laughs> that's yeah. a lot of oil. So, how many boxes have you got of this? That's three or four, just in case we have uh, a mishap. We're not going to have any mishaps, are we? How long's it got to go in for? You've got to time it. 35 to 38 minutes. We'll ch I'll do 35 and we'll check it then. How's that? Now that the cake is baking, I thought it'd be a great opportunity to do a bit of wedding rehearsal. OK. So if you put your hand out... Right. ..and she puts her hand on the top... Yeah. ..curl your fingers, right? OK. Doesn't that feel far more elegant? Doesn't that feel...? Yeah, feels good. If you're armed and ready right. with a single red rose... Right. And if you write her a love letter, that's all her dreams come true. If you do all of this, right. and you are this perfect prince on this day, right. at the end, when you are going to walk out, there'll be something a bit magical there. I think I can handle that. See if you can handle this wedding cake. cake. Come on, I think it's cooked. Looking good. Ready-made icing. Yes. Ooh. Go in here first. It looks good. Is that the filling or is that the icing? That's the icing. No, that's filling now. That's not no, icing. No, it's, well, it's, it's filling and it's icing. There we okay. go. Look at that. You see that big hole there? Oh, yeah. Ooh, no. Okay. No. See, look. What, now look what you're doing to me. No. <laughs> not gonna cut it. She's gonna love it because she's been made with love and time and effort and cake mix and ready-made frosting. Ooh. It's the weekend before their wedding, not the time to be putting things on the back burner. This was Rob's idea. No, Bob. No, it, it was your idea. You said, let's get into as many rib fests this season as we can. Well, let's get her up here. He's not even Two. listening to me. But he's giving us a nice view. Water, water and electrical. And propane. Propane's no problem. Water and electrical. <laughs> we can't cook without propane. 
he definitely has gas. It's all coming together. It's <laughs> Rob's famous last words. Got a beer yet or what? James, yeah. has Rob told you about plans for food for the wedding yet? Oh, I'm sure it's going well. You How well? Fun. Has he told you anything? No. No plan. We really discussed it. We've been talking about uh, this and the rib setup last few uh, conversations. And next? We got sidetracked a week before. <laughs> That was my fault. He's got Rob's back, a dangerous place to be. Hello? Jane, I'm calling in a wish. What? You're cooking ribs. He's cooking ribs. But he's forgotten the propane. And we don't have any utensils, and I don't want this to happen for our wedding. You want me to make sure that there's food at the wedding and Rob isn't in the kitchen? Leave it with me. Not to worry, Jane knows exactly who to call for this wish. With only two days left, food isn't the only concern for Donna and Rob. Let's check out the weather on the paper. Saturday, 80% chance of rain. That's one paper. Saturday, 90% chance of rain. Not good average here. I want to get married on the bridge. It's my dream. Do we have budget to rent a tent? Probably not. This is all going to be mush. My feet are soaked. Maybe we should have put a bit more thought into it when you booked it. <laughs> you want to go? Easy now. And I'm wearing these on the wedding day. Look, they're wet. You are not wearing those on the wedding day. No way, no how. If we set up a tent here, then at least we're close to the hall. Well, nobody's going to see the hydro lines because the tent's going to be the focal point, right? Right. If we go ahead with the tent, how are we going to pay for it? I don't know. While Donna tries to trim the fat from the wedding budget, Rob gets his hand caught in the cookie jar. Looking good. Uh -huh. Who's going to do all of this tomorrow? I think we got it all under control. Donna didn't want you in the kitchen. How much have you got to do? Uh, everything. I cannot have Rob in that kitchen. You know, she's marrying her prince. Princes don't wear aprons. I brought you some help. I'd like to introduce you to Chef Kumar. Nice to meet you, Chef. I've worked with Chef on so many weddings. This one, for him, piece of cake. Hand over the reins. I don't know if I, if I can let it go. There's a lot at stake here, guys, and I'm going to take these sharp implements out of the way. It's not easy. It's like a mother giving up her baby. I won't be able to leave it alone completely. There are less than 24 hours to go, and Donna's maid of honor is there to help out with the final details. I'm now back to being a wedding planner. Yee-hee! Don't get too excited, Jane. Donna is about to drop a bride bomb. We want to make a wish change. Day before your wedding? This has never happened to me before. And which wish are we changing? We want to change our food wish into a rain backup wish. I don't want him in the kitchen on the day of the wedding, but we're going to have to sacrifice that. We think that we should use this as our ceremony site. But I thought you were sold on the bridge. I really want to have the ceremony on the bridge, but I'm worried that it's going to rain. What am I doing on here? A tent. Oh, tent, of course. Yes, tent. Is this what you really want? No, it's not what I want. But it makes everything easier for me. I just, the uncertainty is too much. To change the food means you're back in the kitchen. Yeah. Why would you trade in the food wish for a tent? I thought she wanted Rob out of the kitchen. Let's just say the rain passes, the sun comes out, and you're not getting married on your bridge because all the effort has gone into this tent. I'm going to have to sacrifice my dream. Where am I going to get a tent now? You're the fair godmother. You can do anything, right? Yeah. Donna and Rob's wedding had a few setbacks. The big one being Rob. He does not share in the idea of the fairy tale. I need help. So with everything to do and no help from her bridesmaids, Donna's first wish was for Jane to play temporary maid of honor. There's tons to do. Mm -hmm. The second wish was Rob's, to make the day special for Donna. So Jane took him under her fairy wing. Very smart. It's not where I was hoping on going. Donna's third wish was to keep Rob the chef out of the kitchen on the wedding day. Hand over the reins. I don't know if I, if I can let it go. But the day before the wedding, Donna asked for a wish change. We want to change our food wish into a rain backup wish. Let's just say there was a lot of frantic phone ringing last night, and I managed to find a tent. There's been 
inches of rain today. Changing the wish was a really good call. It's torrential. So Jane spread her fairy dust and spun straw into gold. Ruth, fantastic. Absolutely beautiful. That's exactly what she wanted, the peonies. Thank you. But the fairy tale isn't complete unless the prince shows up. Uh, the limo should be here in about 20 minutes. We're going to have to get the limo to pull up to the liquor store on the way. <laughs> All right, I got to get ready. Well, he looks like a prince, but will Rob be Donna's fairy tale love? Do you promise to love and cherish her, to honor and sustain him, until death alone shall part you? I promise. Absolutely, I promise. It is my honor and delight to declare you henceforth to be husband and wife. You may seal your vows with a kiss. This wedding needed a wow factor, because we knew it was going to be washed out by the rain. What could I do as a wow factor? <laughs> there, give me the flowers. Rob earned getting the fairy tale carriage, and he did everything I asked him to. Well done, Rob. This is just to tell you how much I love you, and that this is the first day of the rest of our life together, and how much I love you. Thank you, baby. Love you, love you. You're married. Woo! The wedding was amazing. Jane went above and beyond. So, so even though we weren't standing on the bridge, it was still behind us. The bridge us. was still a huge part of the day. So it worked out. So then yeah. we then we got a bunch of pictures on the bridge. I couldn't ask for anything better. Looks like Donna has found her prince, one who doesn't have to be in the kitchen because Chef Kumar has already prepared a royal feast. I brought in Chef Kumar, because this is all part of this fairy tale thing. I cannot have Rob in that kitchen. Looks like he got past security. I caught him in the kitchen. OK, thanks, Kumar. See you. That food was so good. Chef Kumar, compliments to the chef. The food was excellent. He took the food and went over and above and did an excellent job. Rob's heart was in the right place by baking that cake for Donna for her fairy tale wedding, but I couldn't embarrass him by bringing that one, even though it was made with love. So I sprinkled some magic fairy dust on it. Poof, look what we've got. I think Jane is a damn good wedding planner, and she knows what she's doing. That was good. Oh, my prince. <laughs> my knight in shining armor. Oh. <sighs>